what is described as the Otum for commemorative gold coin. Uh, Mr. President, they will tell their own story, but briefly, the Bank of Ghana authorized Eon 3 Group to mint commemorative gold coins to celebrate the Asantini, particularly after he had received the Pillar of Peace Award at the Africa Premier Leadership Awards in recognition for his leadership uh, on many, many different fronts. Um, the first of those gold coins was purchased at auction by KGL Group. The second was uh, presented to the Asantini, and they are here to present uh, the third of the batch that was minted to you. The delegation is led by Mr. Jesse Japon. You're welcome. You. If you'll introduce your delegation and give the president your message. Um, I'd like to introduce the team that came from EON3. Uh, my immediate right, Mr. Richard A.J. Mensah Ufuriata, Executive Director for EON3. Next to him is the Honorable Abraham Odum, who is the Country Manager for Gold Coast Refinery. Next to him is Mr. Paul Asumini, Legal Advisor. Next to him is Mr. Olumide, Managing Director for Access Bank. And then next to him is Mr. Akwesi Ewa, who is the Managing Director for the PMMC. Mr. President, His Royal Majesty Otun Forza II, the second, Asante Hene, in December 29th, 2019, received the Pillar of Peace Award at the Africa Premier Leadership Award in recognition for his role in the conflict resolution over the Dabon chieftaincy issues. Mr. President, it's interesting to note that this resolution traveled many presidents, um, starting from a former president, John Ajikum Kofo, um, traveled all the way through to, may so rest in peace, John Evans Fifia Tamils, His Excellency, all the way through to His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. And it must be stated that the resolution ended during your time. Um, and for that, we say thank you for the support that you've given so far. Mr. President, it's also interesting to note that Otunfo's pursuit and love for peace goes beyond the Dagon issues, um, including settlement of stools and chieftaincy disputes in Asante Mine, facilitation and mediation difficult political transitions, case in point 2012 and 2016, the Chiman disputes with four Asante towns, resolution of KNUST crisis. Mr. President, his pursuit for peace also saw Otun Fawcett to the second being invited to the United Nations General Assembly to deliver a speech on partnership for culture of peace, mobilizing traditional leaders and communities for peace and security. Mr. President, the Bank of Ghana gave authorization to Eon 3 Group to main 24 karat commemorative gold coins to celebrate the Asante Hene for his tremendous contribution to peace building. Subsequently, in December of last year, the Otun 4 commemorative gold coin was launched at a beautiful event in Mesia in Kumasi. It's important to state, Mr. President, that the gold coin is a lifelong project and not only stands as a legacy for Otun 4 82, but it's also important for Ghana's culture and heritage. Mr. President, the Eon 3 group organized a launch in collaboration with key partners, including the KGL Group, Access Bank, Gold Coast Refinery Limited, Precious Mineral Marketing Company, Mencia Palace, and the Coronation Insurance Company Limited. His Royal Majesty Otun 482, in whose honor the gold coin was launched, has received the second gold coin, and we are happy and excited to be here to present your gold coin to you. And with that, Mr. President, I'd also like to acknowledge um, the Minister for Lands, uh, who will do the presentation of our coin on our behalf. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, thank you very much for the opportunity and this occasion to be before you to present the gold coin, which was launched last year in December in honor of His Royal Majesty Otunfo Osetitu. Mr. President, for our purposes, the launch of this gold coin and the presentation of the gold coin is um, one that the ministry supported, uh, really because of your vision for the mineral sector of our country, which is adding value to the mineral resources of our country. And I'm happy to report to you, Mr. President, that the gold coin was minted and refined here in Ghana. And indeed, the idea is that through this, we will be able to ramp up our efforts at adding value to our mineral resources and ensure that refined gold is traded right here in Ghana. 
Mr. President. So with these words and with your permission, I will respectfully proceed to officially present the gold coin to you. <laughs> Members of the delegation, I first of all to welcome you warmly to the seat of the presidency of our country, to Jubilee House, and to thank you very much for this gesture. I think it's a notorious fact, the contribution that the two for Asantehine said to two the second, has been making to advance the peace and stability of our nation. There are others, traditional rulers, who have also been active in this domain. But I suspect that his is the outstanding one, at least in our time, that we have witnessed. So it is a, it's appropriate that he be so duly honored, not uh, honored on the continental level, or na international level, and also by the minting of this coin in his honor and face. I'm grateful for your, the courtesy of your visit and the gift that you have given me. I appreciate it very much. And I'm hoping that developments like these become normal and uh, customary in the development of our nation. Too often, everything that we're doing has had to be externally induced, inspired. And I'm happy that we are gradually beginning to turn <coughs> away from that image and reality. And incidents like this are important uh, steps on the way to that development. So I want to thank you very much for the gesture and wish you, as they say, more grease to your elbows. We need to see more developments of this nature in our country. So with those words, I want to once again to welcome you to Jubilee House and to thank you very much for the visit and for the gift. Highly appreciate it. Thank you.